Before the American Revolutionary War, coins from many European nations circulated freely in the American colonies, as did coinage issued by the various colonies. Chief among these were the Spanish silver dollar coins, also called pieces of eight or eight reals, minted in Mexico and other colonies with silver mined from Central and South American mines. These coins, along with others of similar size and value, were in use throughout the colonies, and later the United States, and were legal tender until 1857. In 1776, several thousand pewter continental currency coins were minted. Although unconfirmed, many numismatists believe these to have been pattern coins of a proposed silver dollar coin authorized by the Continental Congress to prop up the rapidly failing continental currency the first attempt by the fledgling US at paper currency. Several examples were also struck in brass and silver, but a circulating coin was not produced, in large part because of the financial difficulties of running the Revolutionary War. The continental currency dollar coin bears the date 1776, and while its true denomination is not known, it is generally the size of later dollars, and the name has stuck. The failure of the continental currency exacerbated a distrust of paper money among both politicians and the population at large. The letters of Thomas Jefferson indicate that he wished the United States to eschew paper money and instead mint coins of similar perceived value and worth to those foreign coins circulating at the time. This video covers the evolution of the $1 coin. From silver dollars to specialty dollars we will show you examples of them all. We begin our journey with the establishment of the US Mint. The Coinage Act of 1792 authorized the production of dollar coins from silver. The United States Mint produced silver dollar coins from 1794 to 1803, then ceased regular production of silver dollars until 1836. The first silver dollars, precisely 1,758 of them, were coined on October 15, 1794, and were immediately delivered to Mint Director David Rittenhouse for distribution to dignitaries as souvenirs. Thereafter, until 1804, they were struck in varying quantities. There are two obverse designs, flowing hair, 1794, 1795, and drape bust, 1795, 1804. There are also two reverse designs used for the drape bust variety, small eagle, 1795, 1798, and heraldic eagle, 1798, 1804. Original silver dollars from this period are highly prized by coin collectors and are exceptionally valuable, and range from fairly common to incredibly rare. Because of the early practice of hand engraving each die, there are dozens of varieties known for all dates between 1795 and 1803. In 1803 President Thomas Jefferson halted new silver dollars made out of the U.S. Mint's limited resources since it failed to stay in domestic circulation. The less exportable half dollar therefore became the largest thus made silver coin in domestic use for the next several decades. The 1804 dollar is one of the rarest and most famous coins in the world. Its creation was the result of a simple bookkeeping error, but its status as a highly prized rarity has been established for nearly a century and a half. The silver dollars reported by the mint as being struck in 1804 were dated 1803, with dye steel being very expensive in the early 19th century dyes were used until they were no longer in working condition. This is why many early US coins exhibit various kinds of dye cracks, occlusions, cuds, clash marks, and other late-state dye wear. Nearly every coin the US struck from 1793 to 1825 has an example that was struck in a year other than that which it bears. No dollars bearing the date 1804 were ever struck in 1804, though this was unknown to mint officials at the time the 1804 dollar came to be. The 1804 silver dollar was actually produced in 1834, when the U.S. Department of State decided to produce a set of U.S. coins to be used as gifts to rulers in Asia in exchange for trade advantages. Since 1804 was the last recorded year of mintage for both the dollar and $10 eagle, it was decided that the set would contain examples of those coins dated 1804, as well as the other denominations currently being produced. Mint officials, not realizing that the 19,000 plus dollars recorded as being produced in 1804 were all dated 1803, proceeded to make new dies bearing the date 1804. Only 15 silver dollars with the date of 1804 are known to exist, in 1999, 
one of them sold at auction for more than $4 million. Following a series of trial strikes and modifications through 1836, the first of what would come to be known as the Gobrecht dollars were minted in December of that year. The dollars of 1836 were minted with a silver fineness of 0.892, silver, a specification set forth in the 1792 Act. The mandated fineness of U.S. silver coins was changed from 0.892 to 0.900, 90%, by the Coinage Act of 1837, passed on January 18, 1837, subsequent Gobrecht dollars were struck in 0.900 silver. Beginning in 1837, an adaptation of the obverse of the Gobrecht dollar, depicting a ceded liberty, was used on smaller denominations. Ceded Liberty Dollars were introduced in 1836 and were minted in lesser quantities than the sparsely minted preceding dollars designed by Gobrecht. The dollars were used in general circulation until 1873. The production of large numbers of US gold coins, the first $1 and $20 gold coins were minted in 1849. Soon, New California mines lowered the price of gold, thereby increasing the value of silver. By 1853, the value of a U.S. silver dollar contained in gold terms, $1.04 of silver, equal to $36.58 today. With the Mint Act of 1853, all U.S. silver coins, except for the U.S. silver dollar and new three-cent coin, were reduced by 6.9% as of weight with arrows on the date to denote reduction. The U.S. silver dollar continued to be minted in very small numbers mainly as a foreign trade coin with the Orient. The gold dollar was produced from 1849 to 1889. 1849 to 1853 gold dollar coins were 13 millimeters across and are called type 1. Type 2 gold dollars were thinner but larger at 15 millimeters diameter and were produced from 1854 to 1855. The most common gold dollar is the type 3, struck from 1856 until 1889. Production of one US dollar gold dollars was high until the Civil War and by 1863, only the larger value gold coins were produced in large quantities. Most gold coins produced from 1863 and onward were produced for imports to pay for enormous amounts of war material and interest on some US government bonds. Many of these coins from the Civil War and after, silver coins included, are in excellent condition since they saw very limited circulation with greenbacks and postage currency taking their place. Composed of 90% pure gold, it was the smallest denomination of gold currency ever produced by the United States federal government. When the US system of coinage was originally designed there had been no plans for a gold dollar coin, but in the late 1840s, two gold rushes later, Congress was looking to expand the use of gold in the country's currency. The gold dollar was authorized by the Act of March 3, 1849, and the Liberty Head type began circulating soon afterward. Because of the high value of gold, the gold dollar is the smallest coin in the history of US coinage. The trade dollar was produced in response to other Western powers, such as Great Britain, Spain, France, and particularly Mexico, to compete with these trade coins for use in trade in Asia. While the previous Spanish dollar of 370.95 grains, 24.037 grams, contained less fine silver than the standard dollar coin of 371.25 grains, 24.057 grams. Mexican pesos minted after Mexican independence contained a full 377.1 grains, 24.44 grams, of fine silver. The American trade dollar therefore had to contain more silver, at 420 grains of 90% fine silver, fine content 378.0 grains, 24.49 grams, or 0.44 grams more fine silver than the regular circulation seated Liberty dollars and Morgan dollars. Most trade dollars ended up in China during their first two years of production, where they were very successful. 
Many of them exhibit holes or chop marks which are counter stamps from Asian merchants to verify the authenticity of the coins. Many trade coins of the Western powers and large silver coins from China, Korea, and Japan also bear these chop marks. While most chop mark coins are generally worth less than those without, some of the more fascinating chop marks can give the coin a modest value increase. Morgan silver dollars, all composed of 90% silver and 10% copper, slightly less silver than sterling silver which is 92.5%, containing 26.73 grams 0.859 troy ounce of pure silver, were struck between 1878 and 1904, with a subsequent minting in 1921 and a commemorative minting in 2021. The 1921 dated coins are the most common, and there exists a substantial collector market for pristine, uncirculated specimens of the rarer dates and mint marks. Morgan dollars are second only to Lincoln cents in collector popularity. The coin is named after George T. Morgan, its designer. Morgan dollars were minted at Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, New Orleans, O Mint Mark, San Francisco, S Mint Mark, Carson City, CC Mint Mark, and, in 1921 only, Denver, D Mint Mark. The mint mark is found on the reverse below the wreath, above the O, in dollar. Production of the Morgan dollar began again in 2021 and US mint officials announced an intention to continue producing them in 2022 and beyond. The P Silver Dollar Introduced in December 1921 and having the same ratio of silver to copper as the Morgan dollar, this dollar, designed by metallist Anthony de Francisci, was promulgated to commemorate the signing of formal peace treaties between the Allied forces and Germany and Austria. These treaties officially ended the Allies' World War I hostilities with these two countries. In 1922 the mint made silver dollar production its top priority, causing other denominations to be produced sparingly if at all that year. Production ceased temporarily after 1928, original plans called for only a one-year suspension, but this was extended by the Great Depression. Mintage resumed in 1934, but for only two years. In May 1965, 316,000 plus peace dollars were minted, all at the Denver Mint and dated 1964 D. However, plans for completing this coinage were abandoned, and most of those already minted were melted, with two known trial strike specimens being preserved, for assay purposes, until 1970, when they too were melted, and none released either for circulation or collection purposes. It is rumored that one or more pieces still exist, most notably any examples obtained by key members of Congress, the President, or Mint officials. However, this coin, much like the 1933 $20 gold double eagle, aside from the exception, sold in 2002 for over $7 million and the 10 that were found later, is illegal to own and would be subject to confiscation. Minting of the peace dollar began again in 2021. U.S. Mint officials have announced an intention to continue minting peace dollars in 2022 and beyond. From 1971 to 1978, the U.S. Mint issued dollar coins with the obverse depicting President Dwight David Eisenhower and the reverse the insignia of the Apollo 11 moon landing both designed by Chief Engraver Frank Gasparro. The 1976 bicentennial commemorative design, produced in 1975 and 1976, featured the Liberty Bell and the moon on the reverse, designed by Dennis R. Williams, while retaining the Eisenhower obverse, and the dual dates 1776 to 1976. The Eisenhower dollars minted for general circulation contained no silver or gold but were instead composed of the same copper nickel clad composition used for the dime, quarter, and half dollar. This made the circulation coins extremely resistant to wear and, like the smaller denominations, they still retain a good deal of shine even when subject to mass usage. From 1971 through 1976, the Mint also produced dollars composed of 40% silver aimed at the collector market. The 1971 to 1974 issues appeared in brown boxes or blue packages, depending on whether they were proof or uncirculated. Somewhat different bicentennial sets were produced in the following two years. All issues remain very common. The coins were never very popular, primarily because of their large size and weight which made them inconvenient to carry, 
and the fact that very few vending machines were designed to accept them. The Susan B. Anthony dollar was produced from 1979 to 1981, and again in 1999, the Mint produced Anthony dollars depicting women's suffrage activist Susan B. Anthony, also designed by Frank Gasparro. Anthony thus became the first historical female person portrayed on circulating U.S. coinage. Many earlier circulating coins had featured images of women via allegorical figures such as peace or liberty. Spain's Queen Isabella appeared on the 1893 Colombian Exposition quarter dollar but the coin was not intended for general circulation. The Anthony dollars, like the Eisenhower dollars, were made from a copper nickel clad. The 1981 coins were issued for collectors only but occasionally show up in circulation. The Anthony dollar, because of its color, size, and design, was often confused with the quarter. It was never popular and production was suspended after 1981. In 1999, it was struck again when treasury reserves of the coin were low and the Sacagawea dollar was still a year away from production. While reserves of the coins were high, the coins were most often seen in vending machines, transit systems, and post offices. The Sacagawea dollar was authorized by Congress in 1997 because the supply of Anthony dollars, in inventory since their last mintage in 1981, was soon expected to be depleted. These coins have a copper core clad by manganese brass. Delays in increasing Sacagawea dollar production led to a final 1999 dated mintage of Susan B. Anthony dollars. Dollar coins are used infrequently in general commerce. They used to be given as change by United States Postal Service USPS, stamp vending machines, which created a relatively small but significant demand, but the USPS eliminated all those machines by 2011. They were also used in certain subway and public transit systems, such as the Boston Subway and New York City Subway ticketing machines. In 1998, the US Mint conducted a limited design competition for the new dollar, inviting 23 artists to submit designs portraying Sacagawea on the obverse side and American Bald Eagle on the reverse side. In November 1998, an exhibit of 123 submitted designs was held at the Casa Italiana Hall in Washington, D.C. to solicit public and private comment. Design concepts were submitted in the form of drawings, renderings, sculpture, and die struck prototypes. The obverse was designed by artist Glenna Goodacre. Since no verifiable image of Sacagawea exists, Goodacre used Randy L. Hidao Tidon, a University of New Mexico college student and a Shoshone Indian, as a model for the coin. In December 2005, Congress decided to create a new series of $1 coins that would honor the former U.S. presidents. In 2007, presidential coins of four different designs were produced. Another four designs will be produced each year, honoring the presidents in order of service. The coins are golden in color like the Sacagawea dollar, but contain no gold. The obverse shows the president's portrait, name, order of service and date of service. The reverse features the Statue of Liberty, United States of America and the $1 denomination. Grover Cleveland is on two coins, since he served two non-consecutive terms. The Presidential $1 Coin Act is intended to create renewed interest in dollar coins, like that seen during the 50 State Quarters program. At least one-third of all dollar coins produced are still Sacagawea coins, with the remaining coins making up the four presidential coins annually. Under federal law, no coins may be issued featuring a living president, or a president who died less than two years earlier. The presidential dollar coin is the same size and composition as the Sacagawea dollar. In God We Trust, the issue year, and the mint mark appear on the edge. The first dollar, honoring George Washington, was released into circulation on February 15, 2007. However, H.R. 2764 became law on December 26, 2007, which moved, in God we trust, from the edge to the obverse. A common minting error on this coin, estimated at 80,000, from a mintage of 300 million coins, is the omission of the edge lettering causing a plain outside edge. Because the omission includes the words, in God we trust, some in the popular media have dubbed it the godless coin. A false, although at one time widely reported, 
Error is the report that the edge lettering is upside down. The edge lettering does not occur at the same time as the minting of the coins, allowing for the natural occurrence of the lettering in either orientation, except proof coins where the date and lettering are all right side up. Because of budget constraints and increasing stockpiles of these relatively unpopular coins, the production of new presidential dollar coins for circulation was suspended on December 11, 2011, by U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy F. Gaithner. Further minting of these coins was reserved solely for collectors. The act specifies that for a former president to be honored, they must have been deceased for at least two years before issue. Hence, former presidents George H.W. Bush, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and then current President Barack Obama were ineligible to have a dollar coin issued in their honor when the series ended in 2016, after honoring Ronald Reagan, the last president who was eligible. Since the program has terminated, producing coins for those presidents not yet honored would require another act of Congress. On February 12, 2019, Senator John Cornyn introduced a bill to authorize a presidential dollar honoring George H.W. Bush, which was signed into law by President Donald Trump on January 28, 2020. Despite not seeing widespread use in circulation, the series has seen a few lower mintage issues, mostly in specially marketed sets. Reverse proof issues were made for the coins depicting Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, Ronald Reagan, and George H. W. Bush between 2015 and 2020. These issues had mintages between 16,000 and 48,000, depending on the issue. The United States Government Accountability Office has stated that discontinuing the dollar bill in favor of the dollar coin would save the U.S. government about $5.5 billion over 30 years. This idea has been very unpopular with the public and it is not likely if the proposal will ever be implemented. The coins are more popular with collectors than as currency. A companion set of coins was also produced featuring the first ladies of the United States. These coins are commonly called the first spouse gold coin. The coins are not circulating and are very expensive since they are one half ounce of 0.999 pure gold. Their reverses are also different featuring themes related to the first lady. On September 20, 2007, the Native American $1 Coin Act was signed by President George W. Bush. The act specified in part that the $1 coin shall depict images celebrating the important contributions made by Indian tribes and individual Native Americans to the development of the United States and the history of the United States. The act also called for the removal of the date from the obverse and e pluribus unum from the reverse of the coin opting instead to add them to the edge. At this time the mint mark was also moved to the edge. The program requires that the reverse of the dollar depict a new design every year. In order to determine which design to depict on the coins, officials from the United States Senate Committee on Indian Affairs, the Native American Caucus and the National Congress of American Indians, the consulting organizations for the program, appoint a liaison to the United States Mint. Between 12 and 15 themes are selected after consultation with the National Museum of the American Indian and the Smithsonian Institution. At this point, the consulting organizations supply the Mint with written comments regarding the themes. The suggestions are then sent to the Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee, where a theme is recommended. After reviewing the recommendations and input from the contributing organizations, the selected theme is finalized, at which point designs are produced that represent the theme. Once designs are created, the consulting organizations and the National Museum of the Native American are consulted, and the designs are sent to the Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee for approval. Based on all comments and recommendations received, the Mint selects a final design that is recommended to the Secretary of the Treasury for approval. The Mint produced Sacagawea and Native American $1 coins at three different Mints, Philadelphia, P, Denver, D, and San Francisco. S, proof coins only. The location of the mint mark on the Native American dollar, 2009 through today, is located on the edge of the coin just after the date. The coins still never fully achieved their desired usage but nonetheless, proved very desirable for collectors. The coin's obverse remained the portrait of Sacagawea with her baby on her back, also featuring the words in God we trust, which was moved from the edge. On July 20, 2018, 
Then President Donald Trump signed the American Innovation $1 Coin Act into law. The program calls for the release of four new coins each year from 2019 through 2032 to honor innovation and innovators by issuing $1 coins for each of the 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the five U.S. territories, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands. An introductory coin, commemorating George Washington signing the country's first patent into law, was released in December 2018. The coins are currently only being minted for collectors. Coins will be issued depicting designs which symbolize the willingness to explore, to discover, and to create one's own destiny, according to the U.S. Mint's narrative. The program showcases an innovation, innovator, or group of innovators from each state or territory in uncirculated and proof finishes. In 2019, a privy mark was added to the obverse of the coin under In God We Trust. The American Silver Eagle is the official silver bullion coin of the United States. It was designed by Adolf A. Weinman and John Merck Anti and it was first released by the United States Mint on November 24, 1986. It is struck only in the 1 troy ounce size, which has a nominal face value of $1 and is guaranteed to contain 1 troy ounce of 99.9% .9 pure silver. It is authorized by Title II of Public Law 99-61, Liberty Coin Act, approved July 9, 1985 and codified as 31 U.S.C. 5112, E-H. Its content, weight, and purity are certified by the United States Mint. In addition to the bullion version, the United States Mint has produced a proof version and an uncirculated version for coin collectors. The Silver Eagle has been produced at three mints, the Philadelphia Mint, the San Francisco Mint, and the West Point Mint. The American Silver Eagle Bullion Coin may be used to fund individual retirement account investments. It is a highly collected bullion coin.